today, all the readings, including the responsorial psalm, resonates what the elect today among us who are going to receive the sacraments, especially the baptism during the Easter Vigil, and what is seen in the life of the Samaritan woman. And what we see here in the story of the Samaritan woman is what actually happens when someone encounters Jesus. This woman comes to take water from this well, as we had at noon. Who in her life, as Jesus is mentioning, having five husbands and now living with someone other than any of them, a sixth one, and in search, she's, of course, physically she's thirsty, so she comes to fetch the water. But much more than that physical thirst, she might be craving and longing for something more. And she's not able to be in the public when all the women normally come to fetch water, might be in the mornings or in the evenings, when it is not so hot out there. But perhaps she wants to hide from them. So she is there at noon, thirsting, longing for something. And what is that something which only God can fill? So here is Jesus, who is also thirsty, but his thirst is not for the water. As Jesus is saying to his disciples, he has food, not of this world, but the food which God wants to him to complete. His mission is his food. And he's thirsting for that. So she is out there looking for people who are in thirst of God. So she's, she, he is asking this woman, give me a drink, give me your soul. This woman perhaps, as he is mentioned in the Bible itself, as she is saying, it is not proper for a man, especially a Jew, ask for water or even to make conversation with a woman. She would have either ran away from there or denied. But she is willing. She is willing to be encountered. She is willing to be encountered by Jesus. So there starts this conversation. And the result, the outcome of that encounter, that's the beautiful thing. And that is what for this elect are here. And that is what we are looking for during this season of Lent. What is that? The fruit of this encounter, first of all, 
a self realization coming to the self awareness who am i after the encounter with jesus she is going to the village and she is saying come and see who has told me everything about me of my past and now that she has left back and now she is ready once jesus has encountered once she has or she is ready to accept jesus she is ready to let go the past and to be transformed the self realization the self awareness of our sinfulness and once she has come to that awareness once she has already converted or ready to be converted ready to be converted means she is already converted the result is there she already becomes an evangelizer now this year especially we are celebrating or not only this year this era is going to be of new evangelization what she is doing she is going and saying see come and see the one who has told me everything about my life and through whom i have experienced the conversion and in whom i have experienced my savior a personal testimony a personal testimony she becomes an evangelizer already and then what happens all the people come to see him they listen to him after listening they also understand who he, this is and then they are inviting to stay with them and jesus stays with them two more days the result they all come to know this is the savior of the lord this is the savior of the lord remember when she came to though she had that conversion already starting though she is realizing this is the savior since not complete she is going and saying to the people could this man be the christ still there is a little doubt that doubt is completed when she joined with the paper in the community the complete realization of faith the complete realization of christ experience comes in the community and that is what this elect are going to choose to be with us and that's what we are seeking during this season of lent to let go the past let us be together experience and be deepened in our faith in christ in christ experience and that has already started that conversion is already taking place in their minds i have something here for you to read and i am going to read it this is the cards which they made during their uh, their retreats these days actually they wrote this last sunday there are three questions to be answered one is for what i am thirsting who else in the world is in need of living water what will i leave at the well read this this resonates not only what is in their mind and life but what is in all our lives what is to be left behind where we need to be transformed and who are in need this is what they have written which is collected from all these cards 
For what am I thirsting? More belief and faith, acceptance of self, security and knowledge, salvation and inner peace, forgiveness, the word of God, peace and acceptance, serenity in friendship, letting go of anger, a closer relationship with God, more patience, more empathy, deeper understanding, freedom from worry, free of disappointments, release of doubts, a closer relationship with Jesus, Jesus, spirituality, sobriety, harmony, strength to be more tolerant of others. These are some of them. Actually, we are all fasting for this. And that thirst should end by the end of the season of Lent. Then the true experience of resurrection will come. And who in the world is in need of living waters? They are right. Those who are sad and at the end of their rope, feeling hopeless, the poor, the homeless, the outcasts, the undocumented and children without parents, the poor, spiritually empty, people that are confused, desperate, and at crossroads in their lives, those empty in their heart, those thirsting for life everlasting, families affected by tragedy, especially the families affected by the lost Malaysian airplane, and everyone, somebody is writing, my parents and brother, those who are lost, especially due to drugs and alcohol, the timid, the poor, the tired, the uneducated, in the words of God, uneducated in the words of God and beliefs, agnostics, atheists, and spiritually sick. Again, somebody is writing, my estranged family and my enemies. Don't we all have someone like that? Don't we all have some kind of feelings like, like that? Yes. Then, what would I leave at the well? My ego, judgment, distrust, fears, insecurities, hurts, selfishness, bad memories, bad thoughts, self-doubt, fear of the unknown, doubts, worries, self-will, addictions, lack of self-control. It goes like that. Let us leave all that we need to be left and to be transformed. Let us make use of this season of Lent in a most fruitful way as you know, we are going to accept this elect as they are preparing for the reception of the sacraments.